Hey guys, today I want to introduce the Evil Men units, also known as the Eastern Quarters. Alright, let's get into it. So, as we can tell by the name, the Evil Men from the East leaders fell to Zoran's promise of power. Therefore, Evil Manish units are typically more aggressive than their good men counterparts. They also have a heavier focus on attack power and a lack of ranged units. As far as the unit in the game is concerned, there are no ranged units. For far away firepower, they will have to rely on their Orkish or Yurikai allies. Now let's take a look at the damage and siege stats. If you want both to be good, the pikemen, halberd, and pirates would be the better options, but what surprises me is that the damage per command of the tier 4 war chariot doesn't seem to be very good at all, which is a bit of a letdown since it is a tier 4 class unit, but it does have a very high HP, which is quite a benefit. While the overall damage and siege of the halberdiers are also surprisingly better than the tier 4 units, the units of the eastern quarters all have very low defense stats. And of course speed is better for the cavalry, and as far as I'm concerned, the cavalry's HP is also better. On top of that, Mercenary Yur is better in speed, HP, and defense. As for resources, their tier 4 units still consume quite as much resources as ever, and the evil men units are still more dependent on grain and ore. But for the stats, I do prefer the pirates because their damage, siege, and speed are all higher and the resource consumption is lower. Next up we have the Evil Infantrymen units. So Evil Infantrymen are all specialized in poking horses full of holes with their spears and not much else. You absolutely do not want to send cavalry charges into an infantry heavy army. First of all, we have the Skirmishers, which are a tier 1 melee unit that is equipped with a spear. This unit is very well prepared to bring enemy riders down, and their skill is anti-cavalry, which is obvious that there are special bonuses against cavalry units. Next up, we have the Pikemen, which are a tier 2 melee infantry unit with an even bigger spear and anti-cavalry bonus. So the Pikemen are more battle-hardened versions and more disciplined than the Skirmishers. Now we have the Halberdiers. They are a tier 3 melee infantry unit as well. They are the bane of the Free Folk's mounted riders. Their long pole arms make enemy cavalry rushes highly costly and again their skills have an anti-cavalry bonus. And the other skills is Spear Wall which allows them to also counter-attack giving them higher damage. They must really, really hate the Rohirrim. Next up, we have the Rune Siege units. Possessing physical defense, ignoring flame attacks. The pirates of the Evilmen excel in torching structures down, so use them as the demolition crews. First of all, we have the pirates who are a tier two melee siege infantry unit. Their skill is arson, so they rely on fire to fight. Pirates are a nimble unit, and hardened by life at sea in the south of Middle-earth, they are generally rather weak unless fighting against Ents or torching forts. Next up we have the Corsairs, who are a tier 3 special siege infantry unit. Their skills are strategic maneuver and arson, which lets them set things on fire and also evade damage, much like the pirates. The famed Corsairs of Umbar are raiders at heart and a bane to those who live on the coasts of Gondor. Next we have the evil Manish cavalry units who eventually get the gracefulness ability as they progress and that lets them avoid ranged attacks. They also have a very high damage dealing ability. First of all, we have the mercenaries who are a tier 1 evil melee cavalry unit who have to learn how to ride at a very young age to make a name for oneself. Their skill is mounted, which is able to do a decent amount of damage. Next up we have the marauders who are a tier 2 evil melee cavalry unit, which are pretty much just better mercenaries. 
they make a living terrorizing the undefended villages of the Free Folk. They have the looting and mountain abilities, which allows them to take more resources after destroying structures and also reducing damage. The Dragoons are a tier 3 evil mounted cavalry unit who are able to dodge range attacks using their gracefulness ability and their mounted skill also helps them receive less damage. Now for a vehicle. The War Chariots are a tier 4 rune unique cavalry vehicle. This deadly war machine is powered by pairs of horses and they have the reap ability which causes increased damage to melee units and size that cause bleeding damage to two units each round, making them a powerful unit under the right circumstances but will struggle against high defense tanks with range support. Now we have the Fallen, who are a tier 4 Angmar Elite Melee Cavalry. They have a unique ability called Spite that increases their damage output each time they receive damage and this can stack up to 10 times. Paired with the right commander to keep them alive, they can deliver extremely potent damage. Now last but not least we have the Champions who are our the Variax Tier 4 Special Unit. The Champion is a mounted unit that targets high tier enemy troops and this could be especially good against the Elven Faction's special units such as the March Wardens due to their ability to bypass tanks. However, they will not do as well against higher tier tank units such as Gondor Swan Knights or Erebor's Iron Warriors. That's it for the video guys, we will continue with the evil units in the next video. Can you guess which ones I will be talking about next?